Hey, brothers and sisters in the Lord. Um, I usually don't do this, but I'm going to do this, okay? I'm going to call this woman out because she's not repenting of her teaching. The woman's channel's name is Saved by Grace, okay? She is teaching law. She just put a video up probably like, I don't know, last night, okay? And she, in her comments, is talking about, oh, you know, uh, uh, we don't want people, uh, 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 you know, drinking and, and, and stealing and, and all this stuff. Look, look, you are just using that as an excuse to preach works to people. Paul was not a law preacher. What did Paul say? I only know Christ and him crucified. You need to get people's focus off of themselves and get it back on the cross. You want to talk about we living in the end? You need to get people focused on the cross. Because the more you get people focused on the cross and off of themselves, the better testimony that we will have. You do not get anywhere by preaching law. It never saved us. It never made us better. It just let, you know, let us know that we needed a savior and that's it. You need to use the law lawfully. You are mixing law and grace. This is witchcraft right here. Not only that, it is spiritual adultery. You cannot be married to Jesus and married to law at the same time. I'm sorry, nobody's trying to attack you. Nobody's trying to drag you. Nobody's trying to pick at you. Stop saying that. We just trying to correct you. I don't care if you saw somebody getting drunk or stealing or somebody told you that. You let them people know in private, but you don't have to come with that stuff and lead the flock astray like that and beat the flock like that. That it, 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 it's not going to be tolerated. You think you're doing a good thing by preaching this law. No, you're supposed to be preaching Christ and him crucified. Tell people about that identity in Christ. That's what you need to be talking about. You and Chelsea Bedell. Stop making it about you. Stop it. It's not about you. It's about Christ and him cru crucified. That is how you produce these so-called works that you guys always talk about. Yes, we all believe in works. Yes, we all believe in being a good witness. Nobody said they didn't believe in that. Stop saying that people are using grace as an excuse not to do good works and then bringing it on the flock. Stop that. No, grace is not a license to sin. And no, don't nobody got to follow the law. We're not under the law. We established the law. What are you talking about? You want to talk about works? You need to go read your Bible and pray. That's what you need to do. Go in a closet, read your Bible, and pray. And then you'll see exactly what other brothers and sisters have been trying to tell you. Instead of thinking that we are attacking you. We're not attacking you, but this is toxic to people in the flock. I don't care who tries to come against me. I don't, I don't care. The, the flames of hell can come against me. I don't care. I'm going to tell the truth. This is not biblical, okay? This is not a biblical way to get people to act better. Just like the church of Corinth, when the guy was sleeping with his stepmother, right? He was, that's something crazy. So yes, Paul rebuked it, but he did not, even when they welcomed the guy back in the church, Paul was like, y'all show him some grace. Don't be so hard on him. So I don't know what you think you're doing by your teaching, but it's wrong. It's crap. I'm sorry, it is. Sorry, not sorry. You need to repent of it.